reaction to it. But the Labour leader said that the party was not in a crisis and suggested that those who think so might be trying to undermine his leadership. Labour MPs have hit back, but uh, some do agree. Here is George Galloway, the former MP. This is part of a slow-moving coup to remove Jeremy Corbyn as the leader of the Labour Party. And that's what they're going to try to do decisively over the next uh, couple of months, maybe even a shorter time scale now than that. Having created all this chaos, they're going to say, well, look at all this chaos. We can't go on like this. We need a new leader. I think that uh, when he looks back on it, he'll regret what he did with Ken Livingstone. Well, uh, members of the Shadow Cabinet, Andy Burnham and uh, Deputy Leader Tom Watson, are uh, taking a completely different view, saying that Labour really needs to get a grip on anti-Semitism and tackle these allegations properly. They're even talking about changing some of the party rules uh, to make anti-Semitism, opposition to anti-Semitism more explicit. And we may hear a bit more about that later. But Ken Livingston, speaking to me a few minutes ago, uh, said he has nothing to apologise for. OK, tomorrow, thank you. And anti-Semitism is the subject of the 